December 13. God's thought of me. Thou art a God that seeth me. Genesis 16:13. How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O God. Psalm 139:17. Hagar was an Egyptian slave girl, who had been brought up amid the idolatries of Egypt, and had no sort of idea that the gods had any personal interest in so insignificant a human atom as she was. Probably in Abraham's encampment she had heard of Jehovah, but would doubtless think of him as being equally outside the limits of her little life. What care should the God of her master and mistress have for her, as she fled from the harsh treatment of Sarah, and was in danger of perishing in the lonely desert? Then, suddenly, in her despair, she heard the voice of the angel Jehovah speaking to her, and she called him the living one who seeth me. To her the thought was an inspiration and comfort, enabling her to return and submit herself to Sarah. But to many these words have been a note of fear and judgment. They have thought of God as spying upon their evil ways, and have shrunk from the thought of his eye seeing them. That thought, however, is not the significance of these inspiring words, but that we can never wander into the far country or take one weary step in loneliness without the tender notice of God our Father, who notices even the sparrow that falls to the ground. The psalmist had the same thought when he wrote the 139th Psalm. When he says that God knows his down-sitting and uprising, that his thoughts and ways are all open to his Almighty Friend, it is in a tone of rapturous gladness. It is the prerogative of friendship to love the presence and thought of a friend and the crowning characteristic of Christianity is that we are admitted into personal friendship with our Lord. He knows our thoughts afar off. With an instant sympathy he enters into our anxieties and discouragements. Wherever we go he precedes and brings up the rear, we are beset by his care behind and before. Let every reader open the door to this great friend, remembering that his one test is obedience, yet are my friends if ye do whatsoever I command you. Thus you will find his presence the delight of your life. Prayer We thank thee, O God, that thou hast been about our path, considering all our ways, and encompassing us with blessing. Thine eye has been upon us to deliver our soul from death, and to be our help and shield. For all thy gracious care we thank thee. Amen.